Good morning. The story of Samita factory started with a simple idea, which was to convert the CO2 that astronauts breathe out into glucose, so they could have a calorie source for deep space exploration, and also further down the road for survival on Mars. Two years later, we're building that system that will be on the International Space Station next year. But while we're doing that, we realize there's a much bigger picture here. And that's if we could go from CO2 in a sort of glucose to other chemicals. Okay, and that's important because we know now, based on the Paris Accord, IPCC report, that reducing emissions is not enough. We also have to invest in and deploy carbon negative technology. So we assembled a multidisciplinary team of scientists and entrepreneurs and engineers from the energy industry, oil and gas primarily, and biotech industry, and with backing from Oxy Low Carbon Ventures and BHP, we went to work to start our Manhattan project. So our solution is a nature-inspired platform that could take in CO2, doesn't have to be pure, and leverage synthetic biology and engineered microorganisms for conversion to a portfolio of intermediate chemicals that could be precursors to polymers, plastics, and used to make a portfolio of uh, carbon negative products. We have three verticals that we're commercializing this platform in. In the energy industry, we have about 30 different molecules that we could make from CO2. In mining, we're deploying carbon negative bioremediation. And then for space, we're using the CO2 as a resource to make life support supplies. So now, let me give you a quick case study from each of these verticals to make all of this very tangible. In the energy industry, we're making bioethylene from CO2. And when we do our techno-economic assessments, we could see that we could utilize 1.5 megaton of CO2 per year to produce 500 kilotons of bioethylene. And it's important, this comes at a cost 30% lower than what the client is making, and it's because our reactions happen under ambient pressure and temperature. So you save all the cost and energy required to run these reactions. And it's carbon negative. So if you use that to make PVC, that could be carbon negative. And then from then on. In the mining industry, for acid mine drainage, we have engineered microorganisms that could process the wastewater, increase the pH from 2 to 8. And when we do the techno-economic assessments at the scale, um, we could process a pond similar to this that has 3 billion gallons of wastewater within the course of five to six years. The client has a plan to process this within 50 years, so we could solve the problem much faster. And finally, for space, uh, we use the CO2 that astronauts breathe out. We realize that the space industry has been thinking of CO2 as a resource for a long time. And because we're based in Houston, and the proximity, we're leveraging what we've learned from them for CO2 utilization in the other verticals. So, we're not a university, we're not a R&D shop, we're interested in bringing these pathways to life. So from the beginning, we have a special focus on techno-economic assessments and life cycle assessments for scale-up. And we do this from test tube all the way to the commercial scale. Finally, the, the last thing I will add is that uh, when we look at the carbon removal potential for our portfolio of molecules, which is about 30, coupled with two other R&D projects that we have, it could add up to one gigaton of CO2 process by 2050. And we're just one small company. So that is to say that there is hope for reversing climate change, and that's what we're working on. So I think that's it for me. I look forward to speaking with you during the break. Thank you.